Hello class, this is your instructor for HPR 208, James Stevens. I wanted to make a video to just um, give you an overview of how to utilize the My Medical Terminology Lab feature that's within our course, because this may uh, create some confusion. And uh, also show you how to email me if you uh, need to do so using the D2L mail program. Um, so actually, why don't we do that first? Uh, so from within our course to access, the easiest way to, to get to the mail program is, or actually the easiest way I should say to email me is to click on the drop down arrow next to gradebook, pull up the class list, find my name from that list, and then click on my name and that will open up the D2L email program with my uh, email address already there ready to go. So uh, that's, as, that's as simple as that, folks, to email me. Do not use my front range email address uh, from D2L because D2L email is an internal email program and no other uh, email addresses will work. So Yahoo, Gmail, front range, etc. You just use the, uh, you just access the email program like I showed you and away you go. Okay, so back to our course. Uh, if you click on the content button, and then this first week that we're in right now, from the 13th to the 19th is an orientation unit, and this is to help, this was intentionally designed to help us get acquainted with the course and how it works and operates, as well as to get uh, the Pearson My Medical Terminology Lab uh, program to give you the, the time to get exposed to that and how to use it. So uh, I, I kind of anticipated that there would be some issues getting off the ground and that's why I decided to make the first week simply orientation. Okay, so when you click on the orientation unit and open up the sub-modules, I'll just go through these one at a time. This basically, this first setting up my medical terminology lab module, this is going to be where you go for the, essentially for the remainder of the semester in order to access the different features. Uh, by clicking on these links, it'll bring you, drop you right into the program. Take a moment to do that. So course homepage will bring up the main page with all the different tools. In order to access the digital version of the text, you would click on Pearson eText. And then you would click on Complete Pearson eText. That's going to open up the textbook in a separate window. And you can scroll through and read through the chapters that way. Uh, come back over here. Go back to my medical terminology lab. Uh, you can get direct access to the eText by just clicking on, on this link. Uh, the next one has all the assignments. I'll bring you there in a moment. Uh, the multimedia library I'll show you as well. Lab results shows you your scores. Uh, that word lab, I, I kind of wish they didn't refer to it as lab because maybe it connotes something different than really what it is. Basically, it's just practice activities, kind of game-based learning for you to gain further exposure to medical terminology. Um, so one of the cool things with this feature is the the media library that you have access to. Uh, if you click on select all, you can see that for each chapter there's a guided lecture which basically will walk you through the PowerPoint slides with a, a narrator as well as uh, various videos and then within many chapters there's different animations that you can watch as well. This will help to to make the, the learning a little bit more engaging than in typical uh, online courses where uh, there may not be animations or videos. There may be PowerPoint slides but they don't have a, a voice over feature so again, um, if you click on if you click on that, 
and I shut off the narrator there. If you click on the guided lecture, you'll see that there'll be a number of PowerPoint slides. You hit the play button and it will walk you through those PowerPoint slides with the narrator speaking over them. Okay, so let's go back to the games. So I'm going to close out of this window and come back to our main page here. And we're going to click on the assignments. All right, so one other thing that's useful to have printed out, and in fact, I've, I'm awarding bonus points to, uh, to you if you print out your syllabus and then upload a picture to the Dropbox. So I'd strongly recommend that you have a copy of the syllabus in front of you, printed out that is, so that way you can look through uh, and see what the course requirements are, as well as having a copy of the schedule. So the one thing I want to show you about the schedule that might might create a little bit of confusion is that this week we're in week one, which is the orientation unit. Next week will be week two, which is technically unit one. Okay, so next week we're in week two of the course, but we'll be doing unit one, which will entail chapters one and two, introduction to medical terminology and body organization. So we're gonna come back to the Pearson My Medical Terminology Lab, and we see that there's two activities that we need to complete within unit one. And so we'll go ahead and click on the first one. Uh, I had already demoed these for uh, a, a student earlier today, so you can see that some of these are completed, some of them are not. But these are the, the activities within those two chapters that are due by September 26 at 11.59 p.m. Okay, and so you would just click on each of these I think for me it's going to open up in a different box or a new box. Uh, I'm going to slide this over here. So you're going to get an instructions page which provides you the directions for this activity. So this is a matching activity. You'd click on start and you can see that there are uh, brief definitions on the left side. Over here on the right side, we have some medical terms. So your goal would be to uh, look at the definition, red cell, and decide which one on this right side that it most closely matches or matches. Um, so I'm not going to go through the answers for you. I want to give those away. But you should know that there'll be different questions each time. So you can do this multiple times and get better at identifying the medical terms and definitions uh, and they're going to present you different terms each time you do that. Once you're done with all of the terms and I'll just I'm just going to quickly slide them over here so I can show you what happens next. Surely these are going to be almost all wrong. Hit submit. There we go. Got a zero. Okay, so that was not very good. That tells me I need to go back and learn these terms better, whether that means, uh, well, probably means going back to the textbook, reading the chapter again, and possibly reviewing some of those slides. So we'll close out of there, close out of that window, and you just go through those activities. Uh, you, or I rather, will sync the grades at the end of the week. So we're going to go back to our course and go to Gradebook, pull up grades. Uh, let's see if we come down here to the um, bottom portion here. This is where you will see those grades get transferred over from the Pearson My Medical Terminology Lab. Okay, so uh, I do that, or I'll do that once a week after that unit closes. But that is basically it in a nutshell. There's really not, nothing else other than the, the digital textbook that I showed you how to get access to, 
and then the uh, assignments themselves that you have to do within My Medical Terminology Lab. Um, there are some other features, the PowerPoint slides and the videos that I showed you as well, um, but there's not too much, not too much to that. So um, it's a nice complement to our course, and hopefully it will allow for some enhanced learning and engagement. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and we can discuss it. I do have office hours on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday during this semester. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 11, and Wednesdays from 10 to 11. Uh, I am available outside of those times. You just need to contact me and we can coordinate something that works for you. Okay, looking forward to a great semester and enjoy the course.